office equipment continued. Can you guess who that was? Mm, my mother. You're right. How did you know? The look in your face, it tells it all. Hmm. So, you are asking me what a letter opening machine does? Yes. Definitely it is used to open letters. That's great. The next list is for accounting machines. I'm sure calculators fall here. Yes, they do. They can be manual or scientific. And either way, they are used to make calculations where large figures are involved. Correct. Ever heard of adding machines? Nope. Well, here is one. What does it do? It is used for additions and subtractions. Strictly additions and subtractions? Mm -hmm. Once again, computers fall in this category. Of course, I know that there are some very complex calculations that are best done by a computer. And to add to that, computers can be used to extract and analyze accounting information. The last of the accounting machines is the counting machine. Tell me about it. Have you ever been to a bank? Countless times. How do they count money? They put it into a machine which then counts it very fast. That is the counting machine. Ah. One type is designed for the notes and there is one that is designed for the coins. We don't have that one here. No problem. I have seen it anyway. Our next category is the reprographic machines. Which means? Machines that are used to make copies or duplicates of documents. Ah, that's much simpler. So we are talking about printing, photocopying, and so on machines? Yes. Then we can count photocopying machines as one of these equipment. Correct. Call them photocopiers. It produces copies of original documents, which may be letters, certificates, pages of books, and so on. Moving on, we also have the duplicating machines. Never heard of it. It duplicates documents just like a photocopier, but the difference is that it produces many copies as compared to a photocopier. I see. Next, we have the printers, which are used to print texts or illustrations from a computer onto a paper. Finally, there is the general office machines. What do they do? Well, a variety of work. We have a stapler, for instance. I know how a stapler works. It is used to pin documents together. Correct. What about a paper punch? It is used to make holes in papers ready for filing. I use it a lot at school. Really? What for? I punch my test papers and keep them in one file so that I can find them easily during revision. That's very organized of you. What about a guillotine? I have never heard of that. Well, it's also known as a paper cutter used to trim documents to the required size. Okay. Don't confuse it with a paper shredder. And what is that again? A paper shredder is a machine that is used to tear paper into small pieces before discarding them. What? That is possible? Very possible. Oh, I forgot to tell you that a stapler goes hand in hand with the staple remover. So, I assume it removes pins from documents that are stapled together? Yes, sometimes it is necessary to separate documents, especially if more copies are to be made. And to end this conversation, we have trays. Trays? Hmm. Like the normal trays we use at home? Well, not exactly like that, but they do work the same way. Here, documents are temporarily placed awaiting distribution for action. How would you know the required action? They are labeled at the top to make that possible. My goodness, time has really gone. It is lunch time already. I didn't realize that. What do you have in mind? How about we have lunch as we talk about how to choose the best of his equipment? Why not? I am all excited. Okay, follow me.